hi everyone i hope everyone are safe now these days i am hearing a lot that uh, we are not able to run the pipeline and because that is due to uh, the agents are not being right now being provided by azure devops in case if you have to if you need for a trial and everything then you have to request for it and after that it will be assigned we can use self hosted agents to run the pipelines so how do we actually use self hosted agents it's nothing but you create a vm and the vm will be listening for uh, jobs which has to be executed for a pipeline now to do that i have come up with a terraform script now you can find the terraform script under this uh, github repository uh, so which has the entire uh, uh, terraform files which will deploy a linux vm into the azure now if you wanted more than one agent then uh, you need to go to terraform vars and you need to actually uncomment this part and provide the number of vms which you wanted otherwise you can leave it as it is and it will go and create one uh, vm in your azure portal now if you have the pay as you go model then you can go and uh, create a spot instance for that again you have to on comment this both priority and, ev and eviction policy which will create a spot instance for you uh, for the rest of the people who are actually using free trial I would recommend to leave it as it is because spot instances can't be created in a free trial but uh, for a pay as you go model you can go for a spot instance so let's go and deploy it uh, Linux uh, VM so for that I'll go back to the uh, folder path where the terraform files are there if you go and check this they, these are the terraform files here and I can actually do terraform plan and once you perform terraform plan you will be getting the result where the infrastructure which you are trying to provision and that is I'm just creating one specific VM here so that is what it is showing and let me do terraform apply to approve So one more caution note is uh, I in, uh, I didn't create a resource group. Instead, I am using an existing resource group that is uh, DevOps Agent RG. I would recommend if you, in case if if you if you you can modify the template as you wanted if you want. Otherwise, you can actually create your resource group and mention that name here in the variables.tf. So once you do a terraform uh, apply i'll automatically go and provision a linux machine in the uh, resource group so let's wait for it to get created so the vm is got created it took me around four minutes to get created now if you go into the azure and you check the resource group now we have the vm which is a Ubuntu machine so we to inst uh, to create a self hosted agent now you go to a project and if you go and click on the project settings you would be finding here agent pools now you can go to the default agent and you can go and create a new agent here now how do we do that it's uh, if you are actually hosting a self hosted agent then you have to go for a Linux and if it is a windows then you go for a windows now here it's a linux so why am i using a terraform script the one of the main reasons is uh, i no need to perform certain operations which is downloading this and uh, uh, unzipping it so instead of that this this uh, this there is a custom extension which is running and creating all these activities so that's the reason why i'm preferring this terraform so you can also similarly if you are not uh, okay with terraform you can go ahead and create a linux agent directly from the azure uh, how do we do that you can go click on create a resource and from there you can go and click on ubuntu server now you provide the vm name and the resource group which you wanted to create and you can provide the ssh key or a password and uh, 
you can go ahead and click on review plus create and that will automatically create a Linux machine. Now once the VM is already in set in place, now we what we have to do is uh, we have to if you have created your own Linux machine uh, from this Azure portal, then you have to first do the uh, uh, download this particular file for that you can copy this link and then you go into the uh, machine SSH into the machine and then you download and perform this now here from Terraform point of view I already in case if you don't know what kind of commands we have to type here it's already been mentioned what exact commands to be typed and that is in instance.tf so whoever are following uh, Terraform they no need to run all these things so let me right now SSH into the VM let me first clear the screen and the username which I'm using is trainer and if I go and check the virtual machine public IP here that is now if it's asking me a password so you can find the password here I already mentioned the password is this one Indian at the rate one two three four five six seven so once you provide that you will be in the machine or you if you wanted you can change it if you wanted now once there uh, you have to ensure this uh, file is there in this agent so let me go into my agent so once you extract this file this uh, respective things will show up and now what we have to do is we have to first run config.sh okay now you have to accept the yes and then you have to provide the server URL that is nothing but the the project or uh, the organization URL so you click on the organization or you can click here on the organization and then you can copy this URL I'm going and pasting that URL here now it's asking for a pad token let me click on it and let me go and create a pad token So I already have one. Let me regenerate. I just copied it and I'll paste it here. Now it's going and registering the agent. Now I am going to create the agent in the same default agent pool. If you are creating any other agent pool, then you have to give the respective agent pool here but mine is default so I'm clicking on enter and it is asking me would you want it to use the same agent name my VM name uh, is Terraform VM 00 so it is asking would you want the agent to be also named in the same way yes now it's asking would the work folder should be underscore work and that is I'm fine with this now it is saved now you have to ensure that the agent is ready to listen to the jobs now for that what you have to do is sudo svc so this file is already there in this uh, folder so if you see there is svc.sh now for that you need to do is sudo svc and you provide the username that is trainer and once that is done then you can actually go click on start now the agent is ready it's listening to the jobs if you see here it is active and running it's listening for from any pipeline is triggered and which is uh, taking any agents from this respective agent pool then automatically this agent will be assigned for it and uh, it will start running the respective task from a pipeline so let me refresh it 
there we go the agent is there now when you are creating so the next thing which you have to do is when you are running an agent let me go to the release pipeline even for a release pipeline we need agents I go and click on the tasks now it also needs an agent so if you go and select the default agent and you save this now you go and create a release see the agent is ready to ready for the job and the uh, agent will execute the respective task from this pipeline so this is how it works so you can follow the same thing for a windows machine for that you need to click you need to follow the respective steps you download you copy this link go to internet explorer and you pay uh, download that file and you follow the steps which are being provided open the powershell and follow this respective steps i hope this helps thank you